So there couldn't be anything easier than fried chicken. It's definitely one of our favorite protein dishes. It's really simple and easy. I'm gonna run you through how we cook our chicken. So I'm gonna start with our favorite coconut oil. About, I suppose about a tablespoon and a half. To season the chicken, we're just gonna use this sea salt and pepper. So I'm gonna get a nice bit of this on the chicken. So if you haven't seen my video about how to cut up a chicken quickly and efficiently, I'll give you the link to that at the end. This is actually just the rest of the chicken that I'd cut up. We use the chicken breast for a chicken curry. I'll also put that link at the end of this video. All I've done is cut the thighs, the thigh meat into half after I took the bone out. And then I've left the chicken wings. You can see they're all pretty much similar size pieces. So they're all similar size bits, they cook evenly and you don't get drier bits and then undercooked bits. So I'm just letting that pan heat up really nicely. I'll flick a little bit of water in there just to make sure it's sizzling. So that's nice and hot. We're going to place the chicken into the fat away from us. So the chicken's been in there about five minutes and what we're looking for is the chicken starts to just release from the surface of the pan. That means that that surface, as you can see, is quite, it's sealed. So that's when we turn it over. You can see the meat's really shrunk quite a bit. So that's all nicely sealed now. So I'll probably turn it over a couple of times. I like to move it about a bit, make sure the seasoning is all over it. I can't remember what this called, so if anyone's watching the video and knows what it's called, drop it in the comment. But you need one of these just to stop the um, fat from spitting. So as you can see, it's got a nice, nice colour on it, nice flavouring. I'm going to put that to the side. So I'm going to fry some Chinese cabbage now in this oil to capture all that flavour. 